Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today I'm going to show you guys how to add your WinPE into a virtual hard disk. If you're using Hyper-V, this is for you. So let's get started. So first things first, you're going to open up your command prompt, right? And within your command prompt, you got to make sure that you're using the deployment and imaging tools environment. Okay, so if you've been following my little mini series, you should already have that. Now, the first command you want to run is this part. And then once you're inside this part, you're going to run the following. We need to create a V disk. So it's create V disk file and the location of where you want to drop your VHD file and the maximum size of the, you know, the virtual hard disk. I'm giving it 30 gigs, which is not that bad. You are able to give it a little bit more, but it's up to you You're going to hit enter. It's going to do its thing. Depending on the size of your virtual hard disk, it's going to take a while. 30 gigs for me took between, I would say, three to five minutes. Once it's done, you're good to go. Now, the next command we need to do is we need to attach the virtual disk. So, attach VDisk. Hit enter. Done. Pretty simple. Next command that we're going to do is we need to create a partition. So, do a create partition primary. Hit enter. Done. Next command that we need to do is assign a letter. So for me, I'm going to assign the letter equal to B, but you could do whatever you want and hit enter. Boom, it's mounted. And we, we need to format it. So the next command that you're going to do is format VS equals to NTFS quick. You want to do a quick NTFS uh, format. Hit enter, 100% done. Now we're going to exit the disk part, so do an exit command, hit enter. You're leaving the disk part, and you should be back into your C prompt. So we're going to go inside disk PC, and you should see your new uh, virtual hard disk, which was mounted, okay, and formatted. And we gave it a letter of B, and it was 30 gigs. So we're going to go back inside our command prompt, and we're going to do the following command. We're going to do a WinPE media space forward slash of UFD space the E drive WinPE B. Now, if you've been following my little mini series, the E drive WinPE is where we created our WinPE stuff, right? So make sure you catch part one, two, and three. Hit enter. Once you hit enter, you're going to get a warning and say all the data on the disk drive B will be lost. You don't have anything in it, which is okay. Hit yes. It's going to start formatting the B drive. Once it's done, it's going to start copying those files over to the B drive, and it's done. Success. That's a good thing. What you can do is go inside the B drive, double-click on it. When you double-click on it, you sh should see all your WinPE folders. Okay? That's a good thing, right? Now go back inside your command prompt and type in disk part. Hit enter. All right, so once you're inside your disk part, we need to select that win10.vhd file that we created in the very beginning. So we're going to do a select vdisk file equals the location of where you drop that win10.vhd. I dropped it inside a folder called vhd inside the E drive. Hit enter. You selected your virtual disk file. The next thing that we need to do is detach the vdisk. Okay, so you're going to do a command of detach VDisk. Super easy. Hit enter and it's done. The way that you know it's done is if you open up your File Explorer, you shouldn't see the B drive. The B drive is dismounted. It's not mounted anymore because we ran the detach VDisk. Go back inside your command prompt. Do it exit. Hit enter. You're leaving the disk part, which is a good thing. Should be brought back inside your C prompt. And now if you go inside your E drive, and go inside the VHD folder, right? You should see your win10.vhd file. Now, one of the cool things about this file is you are able to use it within Hyper-V, mount it, and then boot into your WinPE environment. And that's it, guys. That is how you add your WinPE within a virtual hard disk, which you, allows you to kind of boot within the WinPE environment within uh, Hyper-V. Awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget about hitting that like button, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.